All right, so we're in the attic. Uh, we got gray flex duct, a little bit of mylar. This is a no heat call. And this is a heat only system. So this is 2002. Um, not sure exactly what brand it is, but it's a 2002 Goodman. Oh, okay. So apparently it's not doing anything when calling for heat. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and check it out. And I think we're getting some flashes. Yeah, but we'll see. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to jump R to W. Um, and see what happens. So here we go. So this is an 80% furnace. So we got our inducer. Next thing is our pressure switch to close, which will start the igniter. And we already got some flashing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we got three flash. So the fact that the igniter didn't come on, either the igniter is not um, getting hot or pressure switch is not closing. So if we look here, again, three blinks, pressure switch. Okay, cool. So they did mention they had some uh, rodent issues in the past, so we're going to check our hose here. I don't see that's chewed out anywhere. Okay. And we're just going to blow into it, make sure. So sometimes the cobweb can be in there. And then what I like to do in case there's some crust is you just kind of squish it. So that'll break up any anything solid in there. And actually, yeah, this hose is probably a bit long, but all right. So next thing we're gonna do is the little port in there. We wanna clean it out. I usually use my little tool here. Sometimes some stuff can get caught up in there. And same thing with the pressure switch. Is this one oh, one screw oh no it's got two all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together and try it again okay so here we go again so far so good So still, we're not getting a closed pressure switch. So, now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull these wires off. And we're gonna get our tester. And we wanna make sure that the wires are good. Because sometimes it could just be bad wires. Do all this before you start replacing parts that way you have a full picture of what's actually going on and we're going to be testing the um, inducer as well make sure it's pulling enough pressure so by hooking up a manometer to it and making sure it's pulling what it's supposed to so okay so we got um, continuity set for our tester so when the inducer comes on it's supposed to be pulling 0.35 inches water column so it should get a tone once it uh, ramps up. So here we go. So the pressure switch is not closing because we're not getting any continuity. So we have a bad pressure switch. Possibly. Could still be the fact that this isn't pulling enough. We want to double check so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get set up to check to see how much pressure this guy how much vacuum it's producing so let's go get our manometer okay so we got the manometer hooked up so i'm using a t here 
Um, that way you get an actual reading because if you go direct, it's a it's not a correct reading. You want to read what the pressure switch is reading. So anyway, uh, we need uh, 0.35 inches water column for this to close. So here we go. So the inducer is not producing enough vacuum to close the switch. So now we got to find out why. Okay, so um, I cleaned this out. Uh, it's just like an Allen wrench. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now, when this pressure switch closes, it should start beeping, and we should be getting at least 0.35 inches water column. So here we go. It looks like it's just dirty. So let's go ahead and hook everything back up and see if it'll start up. Okay, so we got it all back together. Let's give it a shot. So if this works, we should get the igniter. There's our igniter. It's heating up slowly. All right, we got ignition. And we should get fan last at the very least. Looks like it works, so we're gonna check a few more things before we call it good. Uh, it's, it's running now. Okay, so we're just gonna do our due diligence, make sure there's nothing else wrong with it. Worst thing you can do is fix it, leave, and then it quits working again. So I'm gonna check everything, like all the obvious stuff. We're gonna check our, um, our run capacitor, which is a 10 microfarad, it's right there. And we are getting 10.6, so it seems to be good. We're gonna get amp draws, and uh, yeah. Seem to be all right. We're gonna check the gas pressure, and we're gonna ohm out that uh, igniter too. Uh, that way, if there's any problems, we can let them know, and um, they don't want to be proactive. At least if we covered all our bases. Um, and I just might do a static total static pressure test on this thing because these ducts are just not not in good shape. Hold on. Yeah. And look at that, that's a skylight. I like the duct work. And it looks like they, oh, is that too small? Oh yeah, that piece right there is way too small. Nice. So anyway, so yeah, so anyway, we're gonna check a few more things and then uh, we'll call her good. Okay, so we checked the capacitor. Now we're just gonna be checking our run amps and we're gonna call her good. Uh, we're going to check our blower motor. This one's supposed to be at points, um, 7 amps max. So this one's not running at full speed for heat. I think it's on medium high. Okay, so I lit up. And then I'm going to go ahead and check our inducer run amps. Oh, you know what? I had my thing set to microfarad, so never mind. So our inducer is at 1.8, which I think is acceptable. I think this one's 2 point something. So our blower is at 5, so we're good. So yeah, make sure you put it on the right setting. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. We're going to cycle it from the thermostat, make sure everything's good. 
but we're going to call it a sticky um, sticky pressure switch. Uh, so we are going to recommend replacing it um, as a proactive change, uh, but I'm not going to require it. I'm not going to force anyone to do anything, but we'll call this a temporary fix because it probably will get gunk in there again. Um, so yeah, there we go. No heat is now heat. Thanks for watching.